Hello content creators! Today we'll be talking about split screens. I'll be showing you how to create a split screen the correct and easy way. I'll also teach you how to make your own preset to help you save time in creating your projects. So if you're interested, you know what to do. Before we begin, could you please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and smash that bell icon to get notified when I upload a new video. So what is split screen? It is basically dividing images or videos into adjacent parts or layouts. This has become widely popular again because of the pandemic that we're currently experiencing right now. I'm sure you're familiar with multiple video conferencing such as Zoom, and if you've seen some content creators collaborating, they are using this style to show each of their own perspective or point of view. Split screens can also be used for comparison videos, to show different angles of the scene, to explain a process, to create a video montage or highlight reel, and even make a comic book style video. There are multiple ways to create a split screen. The simplest way is by stacking all the clips on top of each other, then applying a crop effect on the clips, and manually adjusting their size and position to a layout of your choice. However, there is a better way to do it, and I'm going to show it on this video. For this example, let's just say that we want to create this kind of split screen. We have four clips here. The right half is just one vertical clip, and the left half is split into three horizontal clips. For a 1080p video, the frame size is 1920 by 1080 And since we need to have two columns, we need to divide 1920 by 2 which is equal to 960. So the dimensions of our right frame will be 960 by 1080. As for the rows, since we need 3 of them, we divide 1080 by 3 which is equal to 360. So the size of each frame will be 960 by 360. So in summary, just divide the total length of the horizontal or vertical frame size to the number of rows or columns that you want for your split screen. Now that we've determined the size of our clips, we can organize them by creating separate folders so it would be easier to find and use the clips that we need later. And since we only have two clip sizes, let's create two folders. A 960x1080 folder and a 960x360 folder. Okay. Let's first add the clip on the right. We go to File, New, Sequence, select any 1080p preset, then go to Settings, change the horizontal frame size to 960, then change the sequence name to Frame 1 Placeholder. Then click OK. You can rename the sequence to anything you like, but for easier reference, let's keep it this way. A placeholder simply means that you can replace it with any image or video clip that you want. We can now drag our chosen clip on the timeline. And we can resize and reposition the clip in effects controls if needed. And now we have our first frame. Let's drag this to the 960x1080 folder. Next is we need to create the three remaining clips of the same size of 960x360. So again, we create a new sequence, use the same 1080p preset, go to settings, change the horizontal frame size to 960, and the vertical frame size to 360. Then rename this sequence to frame 2 placeholder, and click OK. Now since we need 3 clips of the same frame size, we can just duplicate it. Right click on frame 2 sequence and select duplicate. Then right-click this and select Duplicate again. Then right-click this and rename it to Frame 3 Placeholder. Then rename it to Frame 4 Placeholder. Then just double-click Frame 3 and Frame 4 Placeholders to open them on the timeline. Next is we need to place the video clips on Frames 2, 3, and 4. So we go to our Video Clips folder and just drag the clips that we want on the timeline 
like so. And if you noticed, the positioning and framing of the clips is a bit off. So we need to select the clip, go to effects controls, then resize and reposition it to our liking. Let's do the same for frame 3 and frame 4. We can now move these sequences to the 960 by 360 folder right here. Okay, we're almost done. Now we create our main sequence. Right-click on the Project panel, select New Item, click Sequence, choose any 1080p preset, and then let's rename it to Split Screen Template 1 and click OK. We can now drag Frame 1 placeholder to the timeline like so. Then do the same for Frame 2, 3, and 4 placeholders. We just need to make sure that all the clips are aligned. And to do that, just go to the Effects Controls panel and adjust the position as we see fit. Alright, it's looking good. And to give emphasis to the split screen video, let's add a border to separate them from each other. Go back to each sequence and go to Essential Graphics, go to Edit, click the new layer icon and select Rectangle. Make sure Solid Fill is checked. Then choose the color that you want. Then just resize and reposition it. And make sure to match the duration of the border with the clip. And to duplicate the border, just select it and drag it to the next frame like so. Make sure to take some time in matching the thickness of the border. You may need to go back and forth for this step. And that's it! We've made a split screen template from scratch. Let's play it! It looks so cool, right? And if you want to replace the clips, just double click on the placeholders, delete the first clip, and drag and drop your replacement clip. Then resize and reposition if needed. If you really want to take it to the next level, you can apply animations to each of the frames. You just need to set the start and end keyframes for this to work. You can also go with a diagonal split screen for a more creative look. If you want me to create a video on how to make this, comment down below. And here are a few samples of split screen layouts with their corresponding resolutions. I'll post a link on the description for you to download these guides. And before we part ways, I would like to say thank you for constantly watching my videos and for supporting my channel. It really means a lot to me and I appreciate you. You guys are the reason why I make videos like this, so thank you. And don't forget to like this video, share it to your friends, and comment down below so I can notice you. I'll be seeing you on my next video. Thank you for watching.